While Cambridge is renowned for its 200-year-old Saturday morning farmer's market in the Galt section, there is another market in the beautiful historic Hesper section that's on Friday afternoons to evening and is a great way to start off your weekend. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., June to September, the area in front of the Old Town Hall and Cenotaph at 11 Tannery Street East, there is the Hesper Village Market. The Hesper Village Market started six years ago. It's an urban farmer's market that is filled with an eclectic mix of vendors that offer everything from salad greens that are grown year-round in repurposed shipping containers, watercolors by artist Debbie Ellis, fresh mushrooms and grow your own mushroom kits, Canadian wines, local craft breweries like Rhythm and Brews, and guest brewers, artisanal baking, designer housewares by Shares Creative Creations, and cards by Lee Silver. With over 25 vendors, there's a wide range of products and community connections as not-for-profits, charities, and other local groups that are there to spread information and awareness. While many of the vendors are there almost weekly, there are unique vendors that might only showcase themselves once during the market season. On the website, listed in the description below, there's a parking map that will make it easy for you to find a spot, but if you live locally, it's an easy walk. Dogs are welcome on leash, and this week you could have picked up a treat from Keith's Doggy Treats. And while it's not uncommon for families to stroll through the market with their pets, usually dogs, you never know what other pets you might see. Come out and be surprised as the market's goal is to have something for everyone with a focus on local food and vendors. Say hello to the Hellsbler Pepper Company who offer a small batch sauce and spice and try their gift pack, Mild to Wild. Burrs and Bees have beeswax and honey products and will be delighted to talk to you about beekeeping and honey. Hasbler Little Farm will be offering flowers, fruit, veg and more. I was delighted to chat about the unique handmade jewelry by Essence and Elegance, be intrigued by the art of the easy canted creations whose items are made from recycled bicycle parts, and I just missed out on some tasty bread from Let's Roll. There was also Giving Tree Bath and Body. Under the gazebo will be barbecues and other foods ready to eat. The smell of burgers and hot dogs from Growing Hope Farm this week was so distracting for me, I couldn't go on filming until I had had something. Growing Hope Farms will be at the barbecue several more times this season, and other groups will also staff the barbecue. But if you're looking for a full sit-down meal, there's great news. Queen Street is closed off on Friday nights through Sundays, and the restaurants on Queen Street are the perfect place to have a meal before or after you stroll through the market. There will also be entertainment on Queen Street, with different performers every week, and in the kids' zone, there is different entertainment weekly, such as face painting and bubble shows. The Hespler Village Market is a fabulous way to kick off your summer weekends with fresh food, unique goods, interesting local beer and wine in a relaxed and fun atmosphere. Check their website to see what vendors will be there next week.